Hi, I'm going to solve a one-dimensional constant acceleration kinematics problem. So the physical situation is that a car is driving to the left at 20 meters per second. Um, it slams on the brakes for three seconds and slows down to eight meters per second with constant acceleration. And I'm going to calculate how far it goes and what its acceleration is. So first thing when you're doing a kinematics problem is to take the verbal description and translate it into mathematical statements. So I've got this 20 meters per second to the left. That is uh, the initial velocity. So it's in the x direction. So I'm going to use uh, x as my uh, second subscript. So i for initial, x for x component. And it's to the left. So by convention, that is negative. Okay, well, There's no law of physics that says that's so. It's just the convention to the left is negative, to the right is positive. And that's what we'll uh, typically stick with. Okay, I also said that it slows down to 8 meters per second, still going to the left, so negative. And we'll call that v final. And again, it's moving in the x direction. And it slows down to 8 meters per second. I also said that it takes three seconds to do so. That's the time interval. So just write that down as delta t, three seconds. OK, uh, next thing is to write down the unknowns that we care about. So we're looking for the acceleration is an unknown. And we're also looking for the displacement. How far does the car go? Again, we're assuming that this acceleration is constant. We're going to be using the constant acceleration kinematics equations. So um, I have three pieces of information, which is typically what you need to solve a constant acceleration kinematics equation. So you might pause the video and think about how would you calculate the acceleration uh, given that you know these three things, the initial velocity, final velocity, and the time interval. Okay. So I would use this equation right here. Hey, I know everything in this equation except the acceleration. So it's a pretty simple matter, one equation, one unknown. And once you do the algebra, it ends up looking like this. And you might recognize this as basically the definition of acceleration, change in velocity over change in time. And that's, that's what it is. So I can just throw in the numbers. Got to be careful here. There's lots of minus signs flying around. So initial velocity of minus, sorry, final velocity of negative 8, initial velocity of negative 20, and a time interval of 3. And I throw that into my calculator, and it spits out positive four meters per second squared. Okay, So um, that might seem weird. We have a positive acceleration while something is slowing down. Uh, but the sign of the acceleration is uh, does not tell you whether something is speeding up or slowing down. It's the relationship between the direction of the velocity and the direction of the acceleration that tells you if something is speeding up or slowing down. So uh, the velocity is to the left, negative. The acceleration is to the right, positive. They are opposite directions, and so that's, uh, that's what happens when something is slowing down. Okay? Opposite direction for velocity and acceleration means something is slowing down. Same direction uh, would mean that something is speeding up. Okay, so uh, now I'm just need to calculate the displacement. So I can uh, find an equation that relates those. Uh, I actually have several choices here. Uh, you might again pause the video and see what you can find from your uh, from your textbook that you can use to calculate the displacement. And you can you can check your work. Um, here's one that that would work. You might have found something different. Okay, and so it's just a matter of uh, chucking in the numbers into this formula. So initial velocity minus 20, time interval of 3, acceleration of 4, time interval of 3. Okay, and when I throw that into my calculator, it spits out an answer of negative 42 
meters. I think that's intuitive. The car is moving to the left, so the displacement is to the left. Okay, so that's it. I've uh, used the constant acceleration kinematics equations uh, and to calculate both the acceleration and the displacement of this car. Thanks.